up on the stage. Give them a hand as they come up. That's the stage from South Africa. It's Savili Hans on stand number two. And Brian Thompson from Christchurch down there on stand number one to complete the six blade cheers in this Golden Cheers final. Well, uh, it, as I say, it's a great pleasure and a privilege to have these blade cheerers. And indeed, it's wonderful that Golden Cheers took it under their own wing to put a separate competition on. Seen as all these blade cheerers from not only New Zealand but around the world. And we do appreciate the New Zealand blade cheerers that weren't into the New Zealand team that also made it possible. A tremendous amount of cheering over there in the, uh, in the marquee on Thursday. And these are the six finalists. This will be an instant prize giving cheerers, so make sure you remain on the board afterwards. Just a quick reminder, please. World Wool Handling semi finalists. These have been announced, but I will announce them again. Joel Hanari, uh, Araha Garvin, Joanne Kumaroa, Rachel Hutchinson, Stephanie Kaushis, Jonathan Harkle, Samantha Hurtle, and Mihid Noroa. So congratulations to those World Wool Handling semi-finalists. Um, that event will be held a little bit later this morning. All right, they just just about be ready to get their back on the board, those shearers. They have long wool sheep to shear. They have five of them in this Golden Shears blade shearing final for 2012. And we haven't had a Golden Shears competition or final for some time. So in conjunction with the World Shearing and All Handling Championships, here it is. Our referee, who's our referee? I think it might be Mr. Mike Barnett, is it? You'll, well, note, you'll note there, Phil, that uh, Mike McConnell put a peg up on the wall, a sharpening peg. He brought his oil stone out, and he's got it there just as insurance in case there's too, a bit of dust in the wool and it takes the edge off his shears. He'll be able to put, resharpen it very, very quickly. So they just put a little edge to make it a little bit better, and that's it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, shearers, let's have you back on the board, please. Let's have you out on the board, Brian, William and Mike. The shears are all in the water tin, soaking there. It's ready to go. When they're finished, they go into the tin in the, on the last sheep that goes out the porthole, and the time will stop the moment those shears go into the water tin. Back on the board, please, Brian. <clears throat> Seconds away from starting in this uh, very historic event, this blade cheering competition comes to a culmination here. We have a green light. It means we're all ready to go up there. Timekeepers ready. All set, Lance. Judges ready. Competitors, get set, go. Oh, and just like on the machines, the doors fly open and back out onto the board. And now the silence of a blade cheering shed. Yes, and we can all have a bit of a chat and watch. The silence is golden. And that's one of the things that the blade shearers really enjoy is being able to converse with one another as they're working all day. We're in machines, she's generally speaking, the radio is blaring, no, it's, and there's no communication. And already Brian Thompson is on to the head. Up the neck is Brian Thompson. New Zealand champion from West Milton and Brian's uh, cleaning around the chin he's got a good sheep to start with he knows the importance of being first to put the pressure on the South Africans who have been quite dominant here at this uh, Golden Shears looks like Mike McConnell Ian as well as uh, yes putting a little bit of pressure back along the rest of the board I might add ladies and gentlemen our co-commentator this morning Mr Ian Rutherford and, uh, of course, uh, I'm not sure whether to call you a resident South African of many years or perhaps a full Kiwi, Ian. You seem to spend a lot of time over there. Yeah, 18 years I spent in South Africa with the training of sheep shearers and uh, the, the shearers there on the board at the present time I know very, very well. 
Well, they're right into their business straight away, and we look along the board now. Brian Thompson, as Ian said, just trying to get out a little bit and get a wee bit of a, a race on the rest of the field. So Brian Thompson gets ready to drop down into the long blow, but Sahuli Hands from South Africa is down in the long blow. Phil Oldfield from Geraldine is there. The Kiwi from down the South Island on stand number three. Then we look at stand four, Sveeni. Manziki Sweeney from South Africa. A little bit of a kicker there. A wee bit of trouble. Mike McConnell on five. Round the long blow. William Craig of Scotland into that first front shoulder and down into the long blow. They don't shear many sheep with blades over in the UK nowadays, Ian. So, of course, that's, uh, they don't have quite the same practice. No, he's telling me, make sure, Ian, you uh, tell everyone I'm just an amateur. I'm just an amateur. I've been lucky and very fortunate to win my way through into this final and uh, he's from Bega, in just south of Edinburgh. That's where William comes from. So we come back onto the board, and who's going to be first off? Uh, it looks like Sawili Hans from Stirkspreit in South Africa on the borders of Lesotho. He's been a champion uh, two or three times in South Africa. And uh, he's been the world champion on a couple of occasions as well. So he's a very experienced campaigner. And uh, coming down, he's not really facing his way towards the porthole. He's going to have to turn the sheep out to put it down. The same as Brian Thompson. Brian is looking. He's got his back to us. He doesn't want us to see what's happening. And down the porthole it goes in a very quick time. Brian Thompson, I think, will be second, will he? Or will it be Mike McConnell? Not too much between those two. And Phil Oldfield also of New Zealand there, just about down the last side. Craig comes over the last front shoulder. Oh, and it looks like Sweeney. Sweeney. On stand number four, the South African. So the two South Africans were first and second on their first sheep. And Sweeney, remember, had that, that animal that performed. He lost quite a bit of time trying to keep it under control. So there goes Phil Oldfield. Come on, Phil. Yeah, he's back in the middle there, stand number three, Phil Oldfield from Geraldine. Back onto the board with his second sheep, Mike McConnell and Brian Thompson, both of New Zealand representative teams. But that's not what they're about. It's the individual open blade final here at Golden Shears. William Craig from South Africa. I thought you said this man was, a, was an amateur. Well, look at him, Ian. He's uh, not that far off the pace, really, as he gets ready to finish off the last side and pop this first one down the porthole. He's doing a great job, our Scotsman down there on stand number six. Yeah, I think he's a bit of hidden talent that uh, wants to be the underdog when he's uh, showing good form because he must have been in good form to get himself into this final. And the she all these men are using the Bergen and Ball shears, the made in England. Uh, the, they've been making them for the last 300 years, Bergen and Ball, and they're using the number one shear. The South Africans are using a Rosa shear made in South Africa. It's a smaller version. It's the number 10 model uh, for anyone that knows what uh, the industry is about. And uh, it's certainly... Although it's smaller, the men seem to be able to use it with more application. And the South Africans, generally speaking, they're not only because they have the experience, but also they have the speed. And those small shears are certainly make a very, very good job of their final shorn animal.